Hello, this is Holly's Bakery 1 on YouTube or hollysbakery.com um, for my website. I wanted to show you the cake that I was working on earlier when I showed you how to smooth a frozen cake. Um, I think it turned out pretty good overall. I do have some blemishes in my frosting because I took a few things off and I rearranged them. Um, I did have to hide a finger mark with the starfish. I didn't want him there, but he's there. And they float, so why not? Um, anyway, I wanted to show you a 360 of the cake. I made all the coral. Um, I made the mermaid on top, and I did that using a tutorial on YouTube. Thank you. I'm so sorry I forgot who did the tutorial, but if you look up how to make a mermaid, you will find her, and I think mine turned out pretty good. Not as good as the girl who does them, but this was my first one, so I think it turned out nice. I made all of the little fish on the cake. That's where I took off something, but it's water. <laughs> did the coral and I hand painted all the coral. I did my long leaves in advance and I dried them. I had to put some rocks up here because she was um, back heavy so she was going to flip backwards so I had to improvise and I had to put rocks around her so that she didn't fall backward. Um, when I set her on the cake because I should have constructed her with a big long doll rod in her So if you do construct one consider that um, or consider something that can hold her so the front is uh, more balanced But I didn't know that because it's the first time making one so I had to make a sea life world around her to kind of mask the rocks so they didn't look so out of place and I thought well since she's a mermaid she should be surrounded by lots of little sea creatures and and living plants and coral and I don't care for my fish bubbles but they are what they are and that's actually what I tried to remove the first time um, I did these ferns I used a mold and they were actually ferns for a cake with, um, they're supposed to be for, like, hummingbirds and stuff like that. But I thought they made pretty cool underwater plants because they look like those fern things that you buy for an aquarium. And then I made all these neat little, what I thought looked like sea life. <laughs> Anyway, that's my cake. Just wanted to show you my finished product. Um, and this is going to be for somebody's birthday. I'm going to deliver that and hope it makes their safe. Cross your fingers. Alright, I'll see you later. I'll be coming up with some more videos. Um, but let me tell you one more time. Most of like the coral was made with the mold. I used the Wilton mold. I used the Wilton Fern Mold for that, but it was with um, butterflies and dragonflies or something like that, and hummingbirds or something. The fish, I just cut out with circle cutters, and I use leaf cutters. Um, the starfish, I used a mold for some of them, well, for most of them. Um, and I just kind of molded these by sticking the ball tool in... I don't even know what you call those things in the ocean, um, but I stuck the ball tool um, inside of a cone and kind of made a little cornucopia type, but I did them kind of random because in undersea they're not perfect, so I figured um, I should leave them. Um, as far as the, the bubbles, those are mine, but the pearls, I did use some pearls. And I just swirled around some little green things. I don't even know if those do grow under the sea, but I wanted something with a little bit more, um, a little more quirky 
on the cake than to just have everything be flat. So anyway, that is my... Also, I have a little flat spot on the back of her head where I had her leaning up while she was drying and she was tipping. So um, I should have probably fixed it, but I don't think anybody will notice. Maybe I'll stick another piece of coral back there behind her head. So that is my... Give me one last glance. That is my mermaid under the sea cake. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, come back and you can watch my tutorial on how to make a wedding cake. And you could basically do that and put sea stuff all over it. And you would have a fantastic cake with that rough um, look on the cake. It'd be great. And just airbrush a little color on there. And if you don't have an airbrush, you can buy a can. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.